a quick moment and reflect. What are some of the changes that you notice in terms of your body, mind, and emotions in the winter time? Do you notice changes in terms of your uh, sleep, your energy, your appetite? How do you feel? For a lot of people, winter can be a harder season to, uh, to cope with. We tend to feel more sluggish, we need to sleep more, just less motivation to do things. And for some people, this can go as far as um, depression, uh, seasonal affective disorder, and impacting their day-to-day -day concentration, focus, and ability to do uh, daily tasks. So what are some of the changes that happen in winter? Where there's decreased daylight, right? So we're getting less sunlight, less intensity. Again, this mostly applies for Canada or the Northern Hemisphere countries. Weaker sun, less time outdoors. We want to stay warm indoors. We're not getting in nature as much. There's less physical activity. We're not moving as much, right? And especially with pandemic, we're not even going out as much. So these are some of the major changes that happen in winter, and these have a profound effect on our mood as well. We're often getting less fresh food, um, whether it's just seasonal availability, um, you know, a lot of the food is not grown locally, so it's being imported from other countries and is not as fresh. And uh, more isolation during the pandemic, right? So staying more at home, um, which can give some people some rest from, you know, intense activities and going around a lot, but it also means that um, there can be a lot of loneliness as well. So these are some of the major changes that happen in, in terms of winter and affecting mood. So seasonal affective disorder, now some people are diagnosed with this and it can be more of a severe um, disorder, but many of us may not have it to that extent, but still are affected by the lack of sunlight and feel, you know, feel it that we just are tired, um, less focused, less appetite, just less motivation to do things. And then as spring comes into summer, our mood picks up, we feel good again. Okay, so the goal with this is that we really want to be feeling well throughout the year. Even in the winter time, we want to have that energy, we want to have that motivation, we want to feel uh, good. So some of the common symptoms of seasonal affective disorder are low mood, depression, despair, fatigue, a lack of motivation, and trouble concentrating. There can also be changes in appetite and weight. A lot of people will notice a lot of weight gain which also impacts how they feel about themselves, sleep issues, and many more. So in Ayurveda, this often correlates to an, a kapha imbalance, which we'll talk about a little bit more, and an increase of ama, which means toxins, and tamas, which we'll talk a little bit more. So looking from the Ayurvedic perspective, when we understand what are the factors that are out of balance, then it's easier to address them, and easier to do something to help bring those things back into balance. And then year after year, there are many little things that you can do on a regular basis to help prevent um, low mood in the winter times. So instead of waiting until we really don't feel good, Ayurveda, naturopathic medicine, and a lot of the traditional systems really focus on prevention. How can you stay well before it becomes a disease?